Hey guys, Effie here. Today I'm going to show you how I made this watercolor card using our newest transformation stamp set. I've applied some anti-static powder onto my watercolor paper panel. Then I'm just going to ink up my stamp with some embossing ink, stamp my panel, and then pour on some gold embossing powder. Then I'm just going to heat the panel with my heat gun. And now I'm going to get ready to do some watercoloring with some Ken Oliver color burst. And I'm using his Fresh Florals pack. It's a really beautiful, bright color palette and all the colors really complement each other well. So I'm doing some wet in wet watercoloring, which just means that you're applying pigment to wet paper or surface. So I've wet the petal area first of this flower with clean water and then I apply peony color burst pigment into the inner portions of the petal and then I blended that color out to the edges of the petal. And I'm just applying the same technique to all of the blooms in this portion of my transformation image. The images in this stamped image really aren't that large, so this coloring went very, very quickly, especially the foliage within this image. They're very tiny, so honestly, it just dropped in a little bit of sap green and blended it out, and sometimes I didn't even bother blending it out. I just applied the pigment within the entire image and called it done. So once I finish coloring in the right side of this transformation image, I colored in the butterfly wing portion. So you don't see it, but I did wet the entire wing with clean water and then I applied some peony pigment down to the left edge of that wing and you can see that pigment spread because that water is already there on the paper. I used a combination of the colors that I use for the other side of the floral portion of the wing. So I'm using peony, marigold, and orchid color burst for the butterfly wing. I wanted to use the same colors to reflect some harmony in my entire panel. After my entire image is painted in, I am going to drag some of the color out from the image to the outside of the image lines to give it a little bit of an aura or even just like a messy watercolored look. And I just did that around the entire outline to give it a loosely watercolored feel. Once my image was entirely colored and dried, I just trimmed my panel to an A2 size card panel. And then I took the sentiment from our Today Cosmo set and stamped it right onto the panel using our Noir dye ink and my card is almost complete. I just added some of our glass slipper sequins and visual triangles all over the panel and now my card is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed today's project and video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because I update it weekly. Also don't forget to check out the rest of our fall 2019 release. I'll link the blog post below. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.